Well, Marco, obviously a uh, very dramatic uh, win on Saturday night over Brisbane. How have the boys been this week? Nice and positive at training, I suppose, after that win. Yeah, the day, the day after they were uh, tired but very happy. I think it was an amazing game. It was an amazing turnaround for us and um, I hope it will give us a lot of confidence for the next games. Um, Luke Brolin obviously came back and played the second 45 minutes. How was he had a big impact in the game? But how was he physically after the game this week? I think good. He came back after uh, a long injury, also after his uh, private uh, problems, and he did it well. Um, and each uh, time uh, in the game means he uh, he adapt to more uh, game fitness. And this week he he looked he looked okay. Yeah, he looked okay. He looked uh, well fresh, and I'm I'm happy to to have him again. Uh, to, to or have him ready to, to, to the game. Um, you've had Jordy Thomason at training this week. Um, how has he performed? Do you feel like he's fitting in well into the team? Maybe? Yes, because the boys uh, uh, did and do a great job to inform him or to uh, integrate him in the, in the team. That's uh, a big compliment for the group. It's always easy to come in for a new player. Um, Chod is 100% uh, fit. Um, I think he, um, the integration is, is is running. It's not uh, finishing, but it's running. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a, he looks uh, that he's a good player. And um, we will give him time to come in, to come in uh, in the team, and also to find in our squad to find in in the new situation for him. It's the first. Uh, Move to yeah, to a foreign country, and he um, decided to move to the farthest point for him. Um, but no, he's ready. He's in the squad, and I'm happy to have him. Okay, and obviously you got look at Ken also suspended. Ben Halloran, from what we understand, is out long term. So does Jordy get some time this week? Uh, he, he's, in, he's in the squad. Uh, that means he travelled with us to to Melbourne, and yeah, uh, with cancelled suspension and also with a long term. And I think it's a long term injury from Ben Holland. But we uh, let know after the final uh, appointment um, um, by the doctor this afternoon how long um, it would be. Um, but uh, now you see how important it was to bring a new player in. Um, yes, um, I don't know if he, if he will start or not, but he's, he's ready for, 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 for a start position, also ready for, to come from the bench. Do you have to, I mean, his presence being what it is, tall player, different yeah. player, have you had enough time to, to um, when you say integrate, you, have you had enough time to, to restructure a plan to actually have him in that position? Uh, the answer is no, because the time is too short, but we can explain him our idea, uh, our idea to play. It depends which line up, which tactical line up we decide to play. Um, uh, normally the players from overseas, they are tactically um, good, they know what is to do, but um, that's what I um, explained before, we must give him time to integrate. Also, the the, yeah, the media, the fans. It's not easy to come in. Uh, it's maybe a lot of pressure on the boy because everybody asks a long time for a striker. Who's the striker? Now he is here, but uh, um, please give him time to integrate um, for 100 percent. But I'm sure that that he's a good boy. He's awake. He he. Um, He's focused, he asks, he will uh, learn quickly, and that's all good attitudes to improve very quick. Just going back to Ben Halloran, uh, his injury, is it foot or ankle? Or it's foot, foot. It's, foot. After the, uh, it's an injury after the uh, game against Sandal Course. Um, it's, uh, he shot or he kicked a ball, and it was a pressing ball, and now we must find um, yeah, the final the final um, reason what happened and how long it is and before it's only 
speculation, but one is sure it's it's a long term injury. And he, he has been one of your better players this season. It's yes. A, a big loss at a crucial time. It's a very big loss for us. Um, now we must uh, stay closer together, the whole team, and to um, to I don't know the word to to compare or to um, to um, stay closer together. To, uh, to yeah, we lost quality. And if we stay closer together with a team spirit, we can we can punk 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 point 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 the. Uh, <laughs> pardon? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Considering you have lost Ben though, you've got a lot of young players coming through. Nicholas did a really well by Kilo Carter, Alvianza came off the bench, provided the, the match winning assist. Uh, are you confident that despite his loss, you've got plenty of boys, young side boys that can make up for it? Um, a little bit different. Uh, I think uh, we we are on a good way. What what? Uh, means our improvement with young boys. I think in the time I, I'm here, we improve a lot of young boys uh, to A-League players. Um, but for, you, you ask for Carlo. Carlo cannot uh, replace uh, Ben Holland, uh, Ben Helleran for the whole time. He can play. Uh, he can replace him maybe for one, two games. But young players they have up and downs. And Ben Holland is a. It's an uh, experienced uh, player from overseas, uh, he's, he plays always on a high level. But I'm happy with the young boys, it's not only color, it's also Pacific or Christine or AP in the past. Um, I think we have a couple of good boys, they will have the chance to, to, to be a part of our, our squad in the, uh, in the next games or, or in, the, in the future. So is the fact that the youth league is finished, so those guys are not getting a run, is this a, a good opportunity then to give them a little bit of experience at the level in case you need them come? Um, to give you experience is the one, um, the one thing, but they must be ready to, to um, they must be ready to perform. I, it's, I can give every young player uh, experience in the game, in the, in the A-League game, but when they are not ready to perform, it makes no sense for me and it's not good for a boy. But the last uh, um, uh, example with Carlo was um, my feeling that he's ready for a couple of minutes and that was uh, uh, a, a good decision from our side and for the boy also good. That you saw at the beginning, he was very nervous, and, but with each minute he played more, uh, he felt more confident and then at the end uh, it was a fantastic cross from him. Um, but um, I think it was five, six minutes, not more. Uh, uh, he's at the start to improve as an a, a A-League player, I hope. Um, and the MPL teams, they start, uh, I think, in, in one, one, one month for in their league to play and that's for us important that they have a, a game rhythm and they have the, the, the game fitness in, in the MPL team. Facing Melbourne City uh, on the weekend, who have obviously just jumped into fourth place over there. Uh, they've signed Jamie McLaren. Um, so Drew Schreiber, what makes him, and I guess Northern City with him, so dangerous? Yeah, you saw a little bit the difference between both teams. Um, they can sign McLaren and can uh, set uh, Fonorelli on the on the stage. Uh, for me, they are two brilliant strikers for this league. I think McLaren showed in the past that he is a top striker. Um, now he's back, and now he makes. Uh, city strong as before, um, but uh, we feel good. We feel confident in our in our in our position. The team feel good, and I think uh, we are hungry to to make it better as in the last games against them. I think the first game, round eight or nine, we played well at home, but we lost uh, two nil. And now I think it's time to to pick up the points. 
from them, but it will be a hard game because they play very, um, very uh, disciplined. Uh, they don't concede so much goals, um, and it's very hard to know in which tactical lineup they will start. Well, the coach changed a lot of position, changed a lot of uh, systems, but uh, we, yeah, we will prepare for each each opportunity from them, and then we must perform again. And I think now it's a good position to fight for the fourth place. Uh, in the ladder, it's the first time in my in my time here that we have the chance to fight for this position. And yeah, now it's up to us to be better. Mark, the, the um, obviously Aurelio Vimar's decision to leave makes a makes a difference. But how he said that uh, it was because he didn't like the administrative side of that job. But, from your point of view, was, it, was there any issue with Aurelio as to his leaving? Uh, I'm not the reason that they leave, that he, that they leave the club. Um, um, Pete um, gave me yesterday the information about Aurelio's departure. Um, I don't know why, but um, in the first moment I was surprised that he left the club after only five months. Um, well, uh, look, we, we had always uh, constructive and sometimes also uh, um, controversial discussions but, um, about a couple of themes, but at the end it, it was always uh, the goal um, or our aim was to find the best solution for the club and that's what we did. And what the reason is for his departure, I don't know. It's uh, more a question for Aurelio. Did you find having him there, he obviously has a lot of experience playing in Europe, playing for the Socceroos. As a coach, did you find it helpful having Aurelio there to share ideas or to discuss football matters? Oh, it's good to discuss about football, to find uh, or to know maybe the same or different uh, views in the situation, but now it's done. Uh, 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 and now my focus is, 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 is on the game day or not on this, on this uh, theme. Does it does it create problems for you at all, or where you have to pick up some of the administrative stuff or anything like that, or is it just simply you'll just continue to coach and, and continue to work on what you've got to do, and it, it doesn't affect you? And that's a job from the club, from Pete. Pete, uh, um, Pete, um, bring Aurelio in the club, and uh, that's also his discussion. If, if, if he thought he need a, a new one or what happens now in the future is his uh, solution, not my. I have enough work to do with my boys and to set the boys up and to prepare well for the games. You said before there was some um, controversial maybe discussions or disagreements uh, between you two. Was, it, was that over transfers, bringing in players or was that more No, I said not the disagreements. Um, and also it's not always uh, to think in a worse way. I think discussions is, is very important and to discuss in different ways is also important to, 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 to improve. But um, it was always good discussions and we found always a good way for, for the club and that's it. And you said just lastly on to into the top four now. I think it's only one loss in nine matches. Do you think now you're finally getting that consistency? Before it was like a good win, a bad result. Do you feel now the boys are getting more consistency so you can stay in that, that top four? I think we play a very consistent season at the moment. Um, but we have to, to, um, yeah, to hold the level. Um, it's not the end of the season, it's a good position. But look, behind, uh, behind of us are maybe three teams. They are also hungry to reach the finals or to um, jump in the ladder and we must be hungry and focused the whole time. Um, it's a long time uh, to the end and uh, be careful to feel too comfortable. Uh, I think it's very important to, to stay focused and to be hungry for, for to hold the level and I think it's easier.
to come in this position and now it's um, our next goal to hold the level and that's more difficult as uh, to come in this position. One last thing, just in terms of the team and the weekend, you, as I said, you uh, haven't got Halloran available, you haven't got Ilso available, Thomason's going to be restricted in terms of the number of minutes he can play, so how, how, how does that, have you decided yet what your front line's going to look like? Can you please repeat? Okay. Uh, yeah. the, Have you the decided question? yet the makeup yeah. of, your, of your striking uh, this weekend, or are you still working out tactically how you, which players are going to go into those striking positions? Uh, the way we um, we set up a team is always what is the best um, the best technical lineup and what is the best uh, which player are the best to uh, beat the opponent and which tactical system maybe is the best. Sometimes I um, think uh, maybe uh, this way is better, then we uh, change our tactical lineup, our system. Sometimes I put another player in another position because I find that he can make the difference in this game and that's now the same. Um, um, I hope I find the, the right line up to be better than, than, than City and depends if we play with one, two, three or four strikers or big five line. Um, it's, always, it's always our, our thoughts to, to win the game. Uh, we want to win the game. We start to play to pick up three points and that's at home and away always the same. Goal.